Hey everyone, my name is Jamie Lee. Welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching this video today. Now today we are back with another Halara video, this time specifically looking at a few things that I think are going to be very cute for fall, including a bunch of the corduroy pieces, which I thought they looked really cute on the website. They are so unbelievably cute in person, so I can't wait to show them to you. I also have some really cute leggings, including the new Padded Off 2.0 leggings to show you and talk about, which are a great option if you have pets, because you can basically just wipe off any pet hair and it doesn't cling to it as much. And of course, I've got a couple cute little tops to pair with some of the different outfits, so we'll take a look at all of that today, and ultimately we'll see which of these pieces are worth it and which might not be. Now, like always when I do these Halara videos, Halara did send me these pieces free of charge for the purposes of creating an unbiased review video. I do not have to only say nice things. I always give my unbiased review, including what's good and maybe what I would improve about the different pieces. And this also means that there will be a discount code for you down in the description box so you can save a little bit of money if you do decide to make a purchase. I'll also link everything that I'm wearing in this video in the order that I'm wearing it down in the description box so you can find exactly what I got and what size I got it in in case you want to try the exact same thing. So all of that information will be down there. And we have a lot of very cute stuff to look at today, so let's get right into it with this little high-waisted corduroy skirt. So this is adorable. I absolutely love it. As soon as I was going to place this order, I literally saw this on the homepage and I was like, I don't care what else I get, but I have to get that. It did also come in some other colors as well. So if you don't love the brown, there are other colors, but it is the absolute perfect color of brown to wear with whites or with warm tones. You could also wear it with black if you prefer like a darker colored outfit. And it obviously is quite short as you can see, but it does have built in shorts. And the shorts in this are super, super stretchy, ultra comfy. You would not have to worry about them digging into you in any way. You can see on me, I'm only five foot one and this is pretty short, but it does basically go to my fingertips or slightly below. And it does have a hidden zipper at the back that is basically just tucked away inside the material. So the only part of it you'll really be able to see is the actual zipper part. The rest of it is really hidden away back there. It does come up nice and high and the corduroy part is not stretchy, which I think makes it look really, really good. I have been looking for a mini skirt like this in a corduroy or a denim for years. And because I have a bigger bum, they never usually fit me properly, but this one is in my usual size medium and it fits absolutely perfect. And priced at $30, it's definitely more than worth it to me. I definitely think I could see myself getting this in another color because I just really think it's so cute for fall. I definitely need to like get wearing it before it gets too cold in Canada. But before I wear it, of course, I had to show you guys what it looked like. And I'm just wearing this with a white baby tee right now, just a random one that I already own, so that we can also try it on with the corduroy jacket, also from Polara. And this jacket is absolutely adorable to me. It is is very oversized so if you do not like an oversized look I would actually recommend sizing down but it has these slight balloon sleeves that I think look really like fun and interesting it does have real buttons at the end so if you wanted to like roll up your sleeves you can just undo those and do that it does have two pockets both of those once again have like real buttons on them and same with all the way up the front you have those metal buttons as well and I personally would be most likely to wear this jacket kind of hanging open like this and then I would most likely wear this outfit with either like a big chunky boot or with tights and maybe a shorter booty but definitely with like some sort of like a chunky boot I think it would look so cute with both the skirt and with the little corduroy jacket and this jacket obviously is not like a winter jacket at least in Canada it's not but I think this would make a perfect like fall spring jacket and I'll probably be able to wear this until the snow is physically on the ground because it is quite warm and I just think that it looks very very adorable so I would be wearing it either way. <laughs> I absolutely love it and I love the like cream color as well. You'll definitely have to let me know do you like the skirt? Do you like the jacket? Are you a fan of corduroy in general? I know a lot of people don't love it. I have always been a fan and I think this in like the big like oversized boyfriend style jacket is absolutely so adorable. 
adorable. And super quickly before we move off of the corduroy <laughs> trend going on here, I did also get these mid-rise corduroy just casual pants. Absolutely freaking love these as well. Now, once again, keep in mind that I'm only five foot one, so these are a little bit long on me, but I do think that I could cuff them a little bit at the bottom and it would be fine, and that is how they're shown on the website. It's just with a little cuff, or wear them with like a bit of a heel, and I think that they'll be the perfect length. I, once again, got these in a size medium, and the corduroy itself is not stretchy, but the waist is, especially in the back, which means that it's actually sitting flat at the back here without any gaping at the waist, which is amazing for me. And I feel like they look really good. They have a little bit of like extra fabric and pleating at the front, which I actually like how that looks. I think that it looks really cute. It makes it look maybe slightly more elevated than if it were just straight down. And once again, I got this brown color. I really love brown right now. I'm wearing everything in brown and cream and white, which is so funny because in the summer I tend to gravitate towards like pinks and we we will have some pinks so don't worry about that but I tend to just gravitate towards much earthier colors in the fall before I go into full leggings and sweaters mode in the winter but overall if you just want like a really comfy cozy fairly warm pair of corduroy pants that you could probably wear to work you could wear these for pretty much anything I do think these are a really good choice they do have belt loops they have pockets. Overall, I feel like they're a great pant and they're only $40, which I do think is great. And once again, there are often sales and I do have that discount code for you to get the price even a little bit lower. Now, next up we have the only dress that I got this time. And I will admit that I don't love how these style of dresses look or feel on me. That doesn't mean that I think that they look bad. Like I think it looks fine. It's just not my favorite style of dress. So this is a fairly long dress. I would consider it like a midi in length on me. It does have slits on both sides and then it also has a cutout and a little twist in the front. Now why I say I don't love this style of dress, I mean dresses that just have a lot going on. I think it would need to be solid at the bottom if it was going to have the twist and the cutout or it could have the slits but then just the twist and no cutout. I just need like less things going on I find that it just like there's too much and it just makes it not very like applicable to my wardrobe or how I like to dress now do I think that it's nice I think it's fine it's basically just like a soft ribbed material akin to like a skim soft lounge dress how it's like that soft ribbed material now this one does seem a lot more opaque than the skims dresses but it is also not like quite as bodycon so like if it was stretched a lot more maybe it would be similar to the skims. There's no support or anything in here and I am not wearing a bra. I just have a set of pasties on. I don't know how you would wear a bra with this unless you wore like either some tape situation or you wore a bra that had like a very very skinny middle band and just kind of hit it under here and use some fashion tape to stick it down. I think this cutout is really what gets me. I've tried multiple dresses now between this year and last year with like a cutout under the boobs and I just don't like it for me especially for like a fall dress if i'm gonna get chilly this is where i'm gonna get chilly i don't want my whole like sternum out but once again if you like this style i think that this dress is nice it definitely fits well in the size medium it looks really good on the bum and then it obviously has those slits so if you want to show off a little bit of leg and look really hot at a party that you're going to i think this could be a good choice but for me it's just not my favorite style now i put this little top on to go with the padded off leggings, I figured we would talk about the leggings. Maybe we would mention the top, but I feel like we're going to have to talk about the elephant in the room, which is if you have a large chest, just know that this top is going to look very good, but bonkers on you. I usually wear around a 34 double D. I got a medium in this top, which is my usual size. Things are looking very, very high. It looks like I'm wearing a corset, which is crazy for just like a little crop top. I was nervous that there wasn't going to be enough space in here and that things were going to be falling everywhere. Things are very secure. <laughs> so if you are looking for something to give you a little bit of oomph and that's going to be like a super mini crop top, maybe you want to wear it on a night out, this could be a really good option. It's made of like a workout material, so I do think it would be pretty sweat wicking, keep you feeling cool and fresh on your night out dancing. 
but also like you're gonna be getting a lot of attention so make sure that you're ready for that i do think that it looks really good it feels good I love a long sleeve top and on my For You page on TikTok right now I constantly get outfit ideas for arms covered boobs out and like that's what this shirt is giving. So if you are a fan of that, this might be a good option for you. But the thing I really wanted to talk about was the padded off leggings. So these are the new padded off 2.0. So just an improved version of the original padded off leggings. These ones that I'm wearing right now are the 7 8 length of the new ones. And this is in the color red mahogany. They do also carry a full length version. So if you are not super short and you want a full length legging, I would recommend going with the standard full length. If you're under like five foot two, in my opinion, the seven eighths is a full length legging for us. So I would probably go with that one instead. So what's so special about padded off leggings? I have done an entire video just talking about the padded off items. So I will link that up here if you're interested, but these are really cool because the fabric basically has a layer on it that prevents pet hair and dust and flour while you're baking and really anything from sticking to it very well. And if anything does stick to it, even like a couple pieces of cat hair, you literally just wipe it off and it will come off. And I tested this extensively in my padded off video. So if you want to go see like me actually testing that out, you can find it there. I don't personally have a pet that sheds. My dog is like a poodle mix. So she does not shed any hair. However, I love wearing these leggings when I go to friends houses that have dogs like I have a friend that has a big golden retriever he obviously sheds a lot and it is so convenient to play with the dog a bunch go outside and just wipe off any hair that's on you. You don't need to worry about bringing it home with you. Same with if you have a lot of cats, I think it's really convenient. And I do want to talk for a minute about the differences between the padded off and the Cloudful legging because the Cloudful 3.0, their newest variation of the Cloudful ones are an incredible legging, probably my favorite from the brand. But I think that they're just better in different situations. Obviously both of them have have pockets which is incredible absolutely love a legging with a pocket they both fit really well they are both super stretchy and super comfy I find both of them to be squat proof in every color that I've tried to be fair I've never tried like a super light color I usually have these slightly darker ones but the cloudful ones for me are really like a great lounge legging I just want to be like chilling in my house I want to be relaxing going for like a little walk or something like I would wear these for pretty much anything, but they are so comfy and like a second skin that I really consider them to be like my chilling, hanging out legging. The padded off legging, in my opinion, is amazing for if you actually need to do an activity. So say you're gonna go help somebody move and you just want some super comfy, silky, soft leggings to wear, you can wear these ones. You're gonna be moving all day. You're gonna get all dusty. You just wipe the dust off. You're gonna go spend a day with your niece and nephew or your friend's kids, or maybe you have kids, and you're gonna be playing in the ground or going to a sandbox. Nothing's gonna stick to these. I think they're really, really good for when you're actually going to do an activity where you know you might get a little dirty because Unlike these, I mean, these you can still throw in the washing machine and wash and they'll be clean at the end of the day. But if you wanna stop at Starbucks on your way home, you wipe off the dirt, you'll go in looking good as new. So I definitely think that there's a place in your wardrobe for both of these, but especially if you have like pets or kids or you know, you live somewhere where there's just a higher volume of dust, maybe there's construction going on in your neighborhood, these padded off ones are a great option for that. And I find that they work perfectly as advertised, including after you wash them, they still work just as great for patting them off. And since we were talking about the Cladful leggings, I did just want to try them on quickly and show you. These leggings are, in my opinion, softer, comfier, and will probably last you longer without pilling between the legs than Lululemon Aligns, and they cost $30. It's just no comparison to me. I absolutely love these. <laughs> 
I have another pair of the Cloudful 3.0 leggings in that same red mahogany color that I just showed you in the last pair and I absolutely love them so I needed to get them in this pink and I just feel like they are absolutely gorgeous the perfect legging for doing yoga or doing Pilates for walking your dog for relaxing in your house or like if you're gonna be working from home they are incredible for that they're so comfortable and they come in loads of colors like this beautiful really really vibrant pink so you can definitely get a color that you love and once again they do have the nice deep pockets you can fit lots of stuff in there they look great on your butt because there is no compression or anything squishing it down and in both these ones and those padded off ones no front seam so if you're somebody that really hates having a front seam you don't have to worry about it there isn't one so excellent leggings highly highly recommend them they have that crossover waist that I love and you truly cannot go wrong with the cloudfall or with the padded off 2.0 leggings now something that I don't like quite as much and this is why we do these reviews this is a little cropped yoga tank and I was like, oh my God, it's gonna be so cute. I'm gonna look so adorable doing yoga. I really don't like how this looks on me. And obviously looks and appearance is going to be a matter of preference. So you might absolutely love how this looks and pick it up for yourself and that's fine. I will definitely be gifting this to somebody else because I just don't like how it looks on me. So this has like fairly wide shoulders and just because of the way that they're built, they sit pretty straight across, which I don't think that that's a bad thing. I just personally have very narrow shoulders, so I think that it looks odd that it's kind of like hanging off the sides of them. It does also have some pleating right under the bust that I think, especially if you have a smaller bust, that's actually going to help accentuate it and you might really like that but I already have pretty big boobs and I feel like it's just like really, really highlighting it in a way that I don't necessarily want it highlighted. And then it just has like a little bit of an elasticized bottom here, which I will say the elastic at the bottom is a little bit loose on me. I don't know that it's necessarily supposed to be like skin tight. This isn't like a sports bra or anything. It is just meant to be like a cute little crop top that you would wear when you're doing like yoga or Pilates. But for me, I can say I definitely do not really love it. So like I said, I will probably give this one to a friend. What I do love about it is this color, especially with these bottoms, and I will 100% be picking up a different style of top in this color to go with these leggings because I think that that looks absolutely gorgeous together. It's just a shame that I don't love the style of the top. And lastly, but certainly not least, we have another little padded off set, this time with a pair of ribbed joggers and with this cute little tank. And I will say I have this tank in another color and I absolutely love it. It is that exact same padded off material. So if you get anything on this, you can literally just wipe it off. Excellent for pretty much any activity, but I also really like wearing these when I work out. They do have a shelf bra inside and they have removable padding that you can choose to keep in or take out. And I feel like they give just enough support that I can do like pretty much any workout. I can do jump squats in these. I can do like jump lunges. Basically anything that I'm doing as part of like my usual weightlifting routine that I do. Now I wouldn't necessarily go running in this because it's not like a high impact sports bra, but for just like a quick bit of hit that you're adding into your workout, this is more than enough for me, even with double Ds, which is nice to know. This top does also have adjustable straps and it's nice and stretchy. So I would honestly just just go with your normal size in this. Even if you do have a bigger chest, I find that my regular size fits me perfectly. Now these little joggers, I do like them, but I feel like they fit me slightly awkwardly. One, because they're a little bit too long on me. They do have an elasticized cuff at the bottom, so it's not like it's going to fall down over my foot or anything, but I do definitely have some bunching around the ankle. And then they're like ever so slightly too tight across the butt. So I think that it is like kind of squishing my bum down a little bit, which isn't a huge deal, but just something to note. Now these do have two standard pockets and then they also have a zipper pocket down on the side that has one of the zippers that like locks down so it's sitting flat against you so it's not just gonna get caught on stuff, which I think is really great. And I could definitely see these being useful if you work somewhere where you're just gonna wear like a more casual pant and you need to be able to throw stuff in your pockets. And of course they did have this in other colors. I just thought the 
navy was pretty cute. And I do love the navy and the light blue together. I think it looks awesome. However, I just feel like these look maybe slightly too like utility for something that I would add to my wardrobe. It's just not the type of thing that I usually wear with like extra pockets or like a cargo style. So I don't know how often I would wear these. But with that being said, I don't think that they're bad pants. I think it's handy that they're that padded off material so you can definitely wear them to work, get something on them and just wipe it off. And I really like the navy. I'm just not sure how often I would personally wear these in my wardrobe. And with that, those are all the different pieces that I got from Halara this time. Definitely be sure to let me know what your favorite piece was and what your least favorite piece was. My favorite has to be the little brown corduroy skirt, but I also adore the other two corduroy pieces. I absolutely love those bright pink Cloudful 3.0 leggings. There's just something about like that Cloudful fabric in the bright pink, it gets me, I love that. My least favorite is definitely the little pink crop top. I just didn't love how it looked on me though. Like I said, I love the pink color and also the green dress. It's just not my style. So I don't think it's something I would reach for. Definitely let me know your top and least favorite picks. And like always, if you do pick up anything from Halara, be sure to come back and let me know how you liked it. I feel like this is a company that's like very underrated for good quality but affordable clothes, especially for like workout clothes. I've seen a lot of people try out their everyday dresses, which are awesome. Don't get me wrong, I really like them, but the leggings are so slept on and like their little workout tops, I just feel like they are incredible. A fraction of the cost of most of the other competitors in this space. So I really, really like them. Obviously I might be a little biased, but I love them. And like always, I hope that you have a fabulous day and that I will see you next time. Bye!